Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just finished filming a Q&A. You guys should go and check it out. It's a very fun Q&A. I got a lot of questions that were concerning YouTube. Is YouTube a good career? Should I do YouTube full time? Should I do YouTube or do business? Um, you know, how does YouTube basically work for you? Do you get jealous of your friends' channels? Do you get jealous of, you know, this? Do you feel frustrated? What annoys you about doing YouTube in Nigeria? I got so many questions like that. Okay, so the first question I want to answer is how did you start your youtube journey did you feel like giving up at certain times in the process if yes why what is your advice to someone who wants to start a youtube channel okay um yeah so um how did i start my youtube journey okay so my youtube journey was a long time coming i just didn't see it okay so years ago eons ago my brother actually told me that I should start a YouTube channel that he thinks I can do YouTube, okay? And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but in my head, I was like, me, I'll go on camera, I'm talking to people up and down on the internet, it's not gonna happen, okay? Because personally, I'm not much of a talker, I'm more of a writer, I prefer writing. So then I now started, you know, I was blogging instead. I was blogging, blogging wasn't really, so many things came up anyway, so I just stopped blogging after a while, and then I moved to Instagram blogging. I wanted to start Instagram blogging. But I'm not asking myself because the thing with Instagram blogging is blogging in general, you still need to create content. I mean, like visual content, okay? So then on Instagram, it was mostly pictures. And like now, if I was talking about maybe a DIY project, I would still have to go and snap every stage of the DIY project or stuff like that just to. So it, it was now like too cumbersome. And I felt like if I was going to go through that stress, I might as well just put it out as video content, okay? Um, yeah, so basically, that's this just like a summary. This is, not the, <laughs> this is not even the real story, but so many things led me to where I am today, is all I'm going to say, okay? Do you feel like giving up at certain times? I've never really felt like giving up YouTube and that's because for me, YouTube is more than just money, okay? Even though yes, the money is now like a motivation at some point, the money became a huge motivation self, okay? But lack of the money will not make me stop YouTube because I like YouTube, I love creating content. I've always created content I'm from secondary school nice write story books, okay? I love telling stories, I love talking to people, not on camera, but basically like through my writing. I just basically now converted my writing to verbal because many people don't read these days. Like that's just the truth. Me, I don't even read that much. Me, so I just writing wasn't really a logical next step for me anymore because I don't even write like reading myself. So that's why I chose YouTube, okay, as a, as an avenue to express myself, say things I like, talk about things I like to talk about, you know, discuss important topics, share share good information, teach people stuff. So that's one thing I do through YouTube. Another thing I do through YouTube is document my life. I love the fact that I'm documenting my children's lives. Like, it gives me so much joy. That's why I still enter my vlog. I put my children in my vlogs because for me, I'm doing it more for them, not even for me. Obviously, I can take these pictures or these videos and put them in my phone or keep them somewhere else. But it's not the same. Like, having them in YouTube, on you know, in, on, in YouTube videos, okay, on my channel, it's a little bit more secure. I don't have to explain it. It's even more secure. I mean, obviously, tomorrow something can happen and your whole YouTube will be wiped off the face of the earth, okay? So that's not as... I mean, so it's not really like 100% secure. And I have more incentives to make the videos when I'm not putting them on YouTube, okay? Does that make sense? If it's just on my phone, I may not really be remembering to take videos or pictures of them if it's just for my phone. But why not that, okay, I'm putting it in a YouTube video or Instagram content, I'm more motivated to do it, okay? So that's number two. Number three reason why I'm doing YouTube is for the money, okay? I'm a stay-at-home mom and I needed another source of income. If I wasn't doing YouTube, like if I wasn't making money from YouTube, I would have been doing something else while still doing YouTube, I'll be doing something else for money, okay? Because I cannot be spending all my time on YouTube and not making money for me. Like, it doesn't even make sense. I have money to save, okay? Make money to save, to invest for my future and invest in other things. And also, when I decide to, you know, venture into something else like um, a business or something, I have a platform to advertise it on, okay? If I'm here advertising for all these hair companies and all these companies up and down, I might as well have the platform and advertise for myself, okay? So I know I debated and everything, but these are basically, I'm trying to give you guys reasons why you should do YouTube, okay? Why you should start your channel today. If everything I just said now, none of them applies to you, I don't know what to say. Okay, so what is my advice to someone who wants to start a YouTube channel? Basically, everything I just said, I'm sure one of the things I said here applies to you, okay? Um, yeah, so if you want to learn how to create content, you want to learn how to 
you know, put yourself out there. That's another reason, though. Know, if you are someone who maybe you're an, you are an introvert, you're not really good at public speaking, you're not good at really putting yourself out there, try YouTube, okay? YouTube is a safe way of putting yourself out there. What I mean by the safe way is that I'm here alone in this room talking to my camera, okay? Even though I know, yes, eventually, thousands of people are going to see this video. Right now, in this space and in this time, I'm alone here talking to my camera, okay? Looking at myself in the viewfinder. So that anxiety, that fear of stumbling or not, or people, people not, you know, whatever fear people have of public speaking, it is already removed from this. At the same time, I'm gaining confidence in, in public speaking, okay? It actually helped me oh, that way. I don't know about that people, but me, it helped me so much. Like, right now, I'm more confident talking to a group of people than I was before I started YouTube, okay? All right. So the next one is, do you see yourself doing YouTube long term? Or would you consider a business, okay? I see myself doing YouTube long term. Even though, yes, I'm considering doing a business. I want to do a business. I have a business idea in my head. I'm still not, you know, cutting the details yet of how I'm going to do it. I have a business in my head. I know that, that me, I know I can do very well, okay? So, um, yeah, but I, I'm still going to do YouTube forever and ever until they now say, make when I come out, though, no, they do it again, or I know what I will now go and look for something else that is like YouTube and I'll jump on it, okay? I like, I like creating content. Like I said, both offline and online, I create content. So, it's just, it's just perfect for me. I like doing it. Um, yeah, so, I see myself doing YouTube long term. If YouTube doesn't exist anymore, I'll gradually move on to the next best thing because there's always the next best thing, okay? Okay, someone is asking, running a small-scale business in Nigeria or doing YouTube, which would you advise? Personally, I would advise you to do both, okay? But put more energy in the one that you are better at, okay? So, for instance, because trust me, there are people that are still winning in life, I'm not on YouTube, okay? Let's not make it look like if you're not doing YouTube, you're not an online influencer, you're not going to be rich or make it. There are many people that are doing big things offline, they don't even, YouTube does not even exist to them and they're making billions of naira, okay? Billions of naira. Um, I'll say do the one that puts more energy in the one that you can do better, okay? So, if, you're, if you can do YouTube better, if you know that you are doing YouTube, and especially if you already have a platform, and you're doing YouTube and YouTube is paying you, then I'll say put more energy into the YouTube and while you, you put some energy into your business. But at the same time, if you know that business is going well for you or you know how to do business better, then I'll say put more energy into your business and just use YouTube, YouTube as a platform to sell yourself and sell your business as well. So what advice would you give to a new YouTuber and what app do you use for editing? Okay, a lot of personality and your family. Thank you. So my advice to a new YouTuber is just start, remain consistent, keep doing what you're doing, reinvent yourself often, try different things, okay? Don't box yourself in. Try different things, keep reinventing yourself, keep trying different things, okay? And see what works for you. When I see people that are saying things like, oh, YouTube is not working for me, this, blah, 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 I'm like, are you really are you really learning the platform? Some people don't learn the platform. Some people just come on YouTube and are thinking they will do magic and it will work. Are you really learning? Are you really studying the platform? Are you studying trends? Are you studying what people like to watch? Are you studying social media? Are you studying social media space? What people like to hear, what people like to listen to, what people like to watch, okay? If you can figure out what people like to watch, then maybe you can tailor your content to what people like to watch, okay? You can't tell me that you are stuck in one thing when people are not watching you. Like, you have to move on, sis. You have to move on. So, if you are doing... And this advice, I'm giving somebody that, that contacted me recently. I've not even responded to her, actually. Someone contacted me recently and she was, you know, lamenting about her channel and stuff like that. The truth is that you have to try other things. You can't keep relying on bigger YouTubers to share your video, bigger YouTubers to share your channel, talk about your channel to give you a shout out. You can't keep relying on it because at some point it will stop working, okay? I keep giving Nelo as an example. How I met Nelo was that she said um, YouTubers should come and collab with her, smaller YouTubers. And I remember that period she gave a lot of YouTubers shout out. Like she shared so many people's videos, she collabed with so many people and she did a lot of shout out, and she did a lot of shout out okay? How many of those channels right now are doing very well? How many? You know, so I'm not even trying to, to feel like, oh, I'm special or anything. I'm just trying to tell you that it, it, you can't rely on that all the time, okay? Keep reinventing yourself. You're a smaller YouTuber. You, you know, you are near the platform. Try different things, okay? Jump on BB, BB Niger. Even those of us that are not even beginners anymore, we are still jumping on BB Niger. Except your content doesn't match with BB Niger content. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. But if your content basically is still lifestyle, is still talking, is still... 
then why can't you jump on BB Niger to grow your channel, okay? Aside that, create value, okay? Teach people something. Trust me, my content, my videos that give me the most subscriber counts are the content where I deliver value, where I teach how to do this, how to get that, how to make this, how to, you know, get pregnant, how to whatever, whatever, all my how-to videos, how to, you know, moisturize your kids' hair, how to grow your kids' hair. Those are the videos that give me the most subscriber counts, okay? They don't give me the most views, right? Okay, I'm just going to be honest. They don't give me the most views, but they give me the most subscriber counts, okay? Videos where I deliver value. Videos like, okay, where me and my mom are talking about, you know, um, kids, uh, um, what, uh, what they call it, special needs kids in Nigeria. Those are videos that give me the most um, subscriber counts. Talk about important things, okay? So, if you can get a balance between talking about important things, doing trendy topics, and doing your lifestyle content, there's no way your channel will not grow, okay? Just be consistent and be interesting about it. Don't come and sit like a robot and be expecting people to be interested and be thinking that your click-through rate will not, will, not, will not crash, okay? If you come here and start faking it and start talking like a robot, your click-through rate is going to crash. Your thumbnail might be fine, your title might be interesting, but once people are watching you, it's a snooze fest. You're looking like a robot, no character, no personality, your eyes are not even blinking. <laughs> Your eyes are not even blinking. There's no life coming through you. People are not going to stay and watch your videos. It's just the truth, okay? Yeah, I don't know. I've coached so many people, but they seem not to get this thing. They still go back to doing what they are comfortable doing. You need to get out of your comfort zone. If I come to this channel now, even though I know I'm somewhat energetic on a normal day, I am not always energetic, okay? So if I come to YouTube and be talking the way I want to be talking, you people are not going to watch it. You're not going to watch. You're not going to. You're going to be like, what's wrong with this one? If I come and start faking my personality, you people are going to notice it. Okay. One comment I get a lot, and I think that's part of what works for me. Okay. I'm being honest right now. Is I get so many comments about I like how real you are. I like how open you are. I like how true to yourself you are. Okay. I'm not changing for anybody. I'm not trying to be like anybody. I'm not saying oh because being wild and uh, all over the place sells on YouTube. Let me go and be wild all over the place. No, I'm still maintaining my good girl personality, which I am. Okay, <laughs> I'm still maintaining my good girl personality, but I just have a more upbeat, you know, way about it. Okay, that's just it. I'm not really an interesting person. If you really, if you really break down my videos, there's really nothing so, oh, you know. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing this, but it's really nothing so like I'm not traveling, I'm not attending weddings, I'm going from here to here, and bashes and birthdays and you know, holidays. I'm not doing all of that, but I still have views because my little Justin at home and arranging my kitchen, I'm upbeat about it, okay? So please try and be upbeat. Don't come at me day. Hello, guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to tell you about uh -uh. even you can you watch your videos? Eh? Tell yourself the truth, sister. You can you watch your own videos? You can't. So try different things and put some life into it, my dear. This there's money to be made though. If you don't do anything, there's money to be made. Okay, so someone is asking, how did you handle the pressure of comparing your channel to other channels when you just started YouTube? How did you find your niche? Do you try did you try other niches before finally going? For this present niche um yes i tried other niches i actually started my channel as a diy channel my first videos although no i mixed both actually because i remember you guys when i started youtube i was posting twice a week i remember clearly i was posting twice twice a week so i was posting one diy video and one vlog okay so i was doing both either vlog or sit down mostly vlogs i was doing sit down videos I was, like i was in my vlogs, I'll take out time to sit down and talk, you know, about something, okay? So, I was doing that when I first started DIY and, you know, um, vlogs. But I quickly realized that DIY videos, first of all, they're expensive to film and they don't really get that much, that many views. Maybe, right now, if I put more energy into it, maybe. But on my channel, my least views are usually my DIY videos. So, I decided to gradually shift away i still do diy but i just add them to vlogs okay i don't just do them on my own i add them to vlogs um yeah so i quickly moved away from that i now moved more into lifestyle and you know commentary kind of videos more lifestyle but i also do commentary how did you handle the pressure of comparing your channels um i didn't really have that pressure because me number one and i keep saying this i'm not someone that gets pressure by what other people are doing in real life not just on youtube yeah, like, see, you know that's what I'm saying, pepper me, eh? I like to be peppered, like, it won't, I won't, when I finish being peppered, I move on, like, it doesn't, it doesn't keep me up at night, I don't get jealous easily, like, 
I don't know somebody will do today that make me feel jealous. I don't know what you will have today that make me feel jealous. That's just, I don't know if it's just my personality or it's just the way I was raised, but I'm not someone who gets, I appreciate good things. I like good things. I like people seeing people progress. I like seeing people make, even if they're together, I like seeing people make progress. It just motivates me to, ah, this person is doing well. Let me, you know, put more effort into my channel. That means I can get there too one day, you know. That's just it. But I don't feel depressed or sad or anything that anybody's excelling because, the person did not take my channel. It's not like I started a channel and someone took it over and the person now started blue. No, you didn't take my channel, you didn't take my channel idea, you didn't take my channel name. However, I get motivated when I see other people's channels, okay? And it's not even about competing channels. I don't I don't know if I have any, anything like competing channels on YouTube or nothing like that. But let me just say, it's not about people I started YouTube together with or anything. It's about people in general doing good. So like Patricia Bright, Patricia Bright, she motivates me. I don't even know I started YouTube. I don't even know anything about her started YouTube or whatever or who she is. I like I don't know her from anywhere, but her channel motivates me, okay? Nella Rose on YouTube is someone that I really get um, motivated by. When I see her channel, when I see how her channel is growing, the kind of things she does, I get motivated by it. Um Abba and Preach. Oh, I love Abba and Preach so much. Like I've watched every single one of their videos. Like I think every single one at this point. Like, yeah, like I even went back. So now watch old videos, okay? So I like Abba and Preach. I like um, Ben Shapiro. I'm trying to be like, who is Ben Shapiro? <laughs> I love Ben Shapiro. I mean, people don't like him, but whatever. That one will consign them. I love Ben Shapiro so much. I watch his, his videos. Um, there's this lady that just started on YouTube. She's not even that. She's kind of new, but she has, her channel has kind of blown up. Not blown up so much, but I mean, she has made tremendous progress. Her name is O. Steph Co. She did a video about pretty privilege okay i'm sure if you have come across that video you will know what i'm talking about oh steph co her channel is doing amazing i think started this year or something but her channel is like something k or even for something k at this point have she has good video views okay so those are people that i look at and i see their channels and i'm like abba and preacher like one point something million we're not missing anyway oh ali abdal okay i love ali abdal he's over two million subscribers now why not miss in any way? But I love watching his channel. I love watching Sheen. I love watching um Lizzie. I think they're Lizbeth or so. Okay, they are all related. They are all friends or whatever. I'm just giving you guys all this story to tell you that don't be there doing local champion and be saying ah me and the uh, Obianuju we started our channel together. Now Obianuju is at 1,000 subscribers. Me I'm at 800. I'm feeling bad. Eh eh. Don't be a local champion. Okay. Watch as many content creators uh, as you can from different walks of life. For, I watch PewDiePie up to today, like his channel motivates me. PewDiePie is like the highest um, channel with the channel with the highest subscriber count, as in personal channel, not uh, music channel or whatever. I mean a personal, a YouTuber's channel with the most subscriber count. It's PewDiePie. I watch PewDiePie all the time. Some of his videos, I don't get them, but I still watch them, okay? So, watch many people. These are people that motivate me. Don't say that I'm doing local champion and I'm saying, eh, this guy started last year. Eh, eh, Mama Nkechi. Now, nah, Mama Nkechi is now at uh, 15,000 subscribers. Now, nah, I'm still at 200. I don't know what's happening there. Uh, both of you have the same destiny. So, watch far and wide. Watch all kinds of content creators. First of all, it will help you be more motivated. It will give you more ideas, more visual ideas, more content ideas, more quality ideas, more editing ideas. Don't remain a local champion. I don't know. I feel like I'm talking to somebody. The Holy Spirit has put this in me to talk to one person directly. Don't remain a local champion and be, com and be comparing yourself with all those local champions, okay? Move! <laughs> I don't know who is local champion, but I'm just saying, moves. Don't stay there and be saying, me and my circle of friends, we are all, eh, eh. Like, it, the world is bigger than that. YouTube is bigger than that. Your competition, like, in quotes, is not even the fellow person that is a Nigerian YouTuber. Your competition might be one black American YouTuber in, in America that is doing big things. That might be your, com not competition, but, you know, someone that's, that you are supposed to be on the same level with or the same, have the same content with. Maybe one black American in one country. Maybe one Indian person in one country. I used to watch this Indian mama. It's not, is she Indian or Pakistani? I've forgotten where she's from. I think, no, she's not Indian. Is she Indian? That cooks, this grandma that cooks for people. She cooks big pot of food for people all the time. I watch her, okay? I watch everybody, anybody I can watch, I watch. I okay, someone is asking, aside electricity and noise, what other complaints do you have about being a Nigerian YouTuber? 
I think one of the biggest ones for me is not being able to create content outside of my house because anywhere you enter, no cameras are loud, no cameras are loud. Yeah, sometimes I try to use my phone, but even using, using your phone, the way people will be looking at you, the way people will be behaving around the, the camera is, is actually discouraging to create content. But I can never be discouraged, okay, because I know that there is a lot I can achieve on YouTube, so I'm just gonna keep going for it, okay? How much do you make on YouTube? Is YouTube worth it? Uh, what's your advice for someone who wants to start a YouTube channel, okay? Okay, so how much do I make on YouTube? I'm sorry, I cannot divulge such information simply because now Nigeria with day, I'm not interested in divulging the information, but just know that I make okay money on YouTube, okay? By okay money, I mean that if today my husband isn't working or let's just say not bringing in money or for some reason I have to take care of the bills of the house, will be comfortable, okay? We will not go hungry. My children will not have to change school. Um, yeah, we, I can take care of the home, you know, till he can bring money, okay? That's just what I'll say about how much I make. But yeah, making I make money on YouTube. I make money through AdSense and through sponsorships videos. But yeah, YouTube has changed my life. I'm so grateful to God that I agreed to do YouTube, okay? That I started YouTube, I started my channel, things are going well for me. I could be better, I could make more money, but I'm making enough money right now. And I'm, ha I'm happy with the money I'm making right now, even though we always look for more money, okay? Yeah, the possibilities are endless, so I'm always going to look for more money. But I like the money that I'm making, I like the fact that I can afford to do things for myself now that I couldn't afford to do before. I can afford to support my family the way I want to support my family. I can afford to save and invest. Me, I have savings, I have investment, I have, you know, all of that. I have all kinds of savings. Yeah, so, you know, that. so that's actually a, a huge plus for me. The fact that I'm ending in dollars is actually a very, 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 very huge plus for me. I'm happy that I have a platform that I'm making money from and I'm also having fun and I'm also impacting lives like, what else can I ask for in a in a job or in a, in a career or in a business, okay? So yeah, for questions about do I consider other businesses, yes, I do consider other businesses, but if they're not giving me what YouTube is giving me, I'm going to keep them by the wayside and focus on my focus, okay? <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.